For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. Alright, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the tension developed in each cable for equilibrium. So basically, the first step is always to find the univectors. There are four univectors this one going towards C, this one going towards B, this one going towards A, and this one going straight down towards the crate. Now that uh, you see what the univectors are, we're going to find them, and to do so, we're going to find all the points involved first, which are A, B, C, and D. Now A sits at 4i plus 0j plus 0k. B sits at 0i plus 0j plus 0k. C sits at 0 in the i plus 3 in the j plus 0 in the k and this sits at 2 in the i plus 1 in the j minus 1 in the k now there are four vectors uh, the a, the b, the c and the one going straight down towards the crate so to find the univector the a first we need to find the a which is a minus d and it is equal to 2 in the i minus 1 in the j plus 1 in the k then you need to find the magnitude of this vector which is fine by doing the square root of x squared plus the y component squared plus the c component squared. So it's 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. And then square rooted, that comes to be 2.45. And the univector dA is given by the vector dA divided by its own magnitude. And that is equal to 0.816 in the i minus 0 0.408 in the j plus 0 0.408 in the k so we got to find univectors d b and univectors d c in the same manner i'm going to let you go through the same motion step one step two step three but you repeat it for d b and the c and you should get these answers. You should get for dB is equal to negative 0 0.816 in the i minus 0 0.408 in the j plus 0 0.408 in the k. And dC should be minus 0 0.667 in the i plus 0 0.667 in the j plus 0 0.333 in the k. And the last univector, so one for the crate, very easy to find, is going straight down parallel to the C axis, so it's negative 1 in the K. Now that you have all the univectors, hopefully you've been taking notes, then what you need to do is you need to multiply them. Multiply by tensions slash forces. So there are four tensions slash forces, in this case, the tension in C, same amount as the univectors, tension in B, tension in A, and the weight of the crate. So tension D A, tension D B, tension D C, weight of the crate. So The um, sorry, it's not equal. You got to multiply each of these times its respective univector. So u d a, u d v, u d c, and u for the crate. When you do so, you should get the Cartesian vector form of each of these forces or tensions. So the first one will be. 0.816 TDA in the I minus 0 0.408 TDA in the J plus 0 0.408 TDA in the K. For the B is minus 0 0.816 TDV in the I minus 0 0.408 TDB in the J plus 0 0.408 TDB in the K. 
last one minus 0.667 T D C in the I plus 0.667 T D C in the J plus 0.333 T D C in the K and this one is here in the I plus here in the J minus the weight in the K and you know that when you add all of these together you should get the origin because plus zero in the K because this is statics and this is an equilibrium keyword equilibrium right here so just by looking at this table that we built we can already form the three equations the system of three equations and three variables that will help us solve the problem you gotta add the i's together the j's together and the k's together so the first one is in the i's 0.816 tda minus 0.816 tdb minus 0.667 tdc tdc uh, plus zero is equal to zero Second equation is for the J minus 0.408 TDA minus 0.408 TDB plus 0.667 TDC is equal to zero. Last one, 0.408 TDA plus 0.408 TDB plus 0.333 T. DC is equal to sorry is equal to the weight if we minus a weight equal to zero but I just put the weight at the other side of the equation let me make that a prettier W now this one becomes very easy to solve let's say this equation one this equation two this equation three if you look at equation two and equation three equation two has the coefficients for the first and two minus 0 0.408 minus 0 0.408 and the other two the first two for equation three are positive and positive for weight. So if you add equation two and equation three together, these two would cancel out and you get the TDC by itself. You get TDC is equal to the weight, which means that TDC is basically equal to 130 kilograms times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81, and it comes out to be 1275.3 newtons. And I got this by multiplying the mass, which is 130 times 9.81 meters per second square. So cool, we got TDC. Now we need to find the other two. And this is the way I did it. No need to do matrices for those of you who know me. And you get equation one, just rewrite it 0.816 TDA minus 0.816. TDB minus 0.667 TDC is equal to zero and you rewrite equation two but you multiply by two and you write it right below and you get minus 0.816 TDA minus 0.816 TDB plus 1.333 TDC is equal to zero you add them together the TDAs cancel out and you get 0.667 TDC is equal to 1.632 TDB but we already found TDC in the equation before so you just replace it over here and you solve for TDB and you get that TDB is equal to 521.2 newtons so just replace this by the value we found before and then you plug those into any equation of the three you want and you solve for TDA and you get that TDA is equal to 1563.6 newtons. I've been getting some complaints that I don't show 100% of my work in the end and that is because I believe that this is a statics uh, course. So I've been teaching statics or you check my algebra courses, I do all the work because there is where you need help with algebra over here you already should know how to solve systems of three equations so final answer final answer and thanks for watching please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you